Hi folks, it's John Eisman from LastChanceAutoRestore.com and here um, I'm standing beside a, a Volkswagen Beetle that's available for sale. It's a 1964 Volkswagen Beetle, um, painted the authentic color and there's been quite a few upgrades that have been done to this particular car. So um, this one being a 1964, this traditionally would have had a start, it came from the factory uh, with a 6 volt system. What we've done is we upgraded this particular car to a 12 volt system. So what that means is instead of having a generator you now have an alternator. Um, the headlights and all the bulbs instead of being 6 volts are now 12 volts. So the headlights we've upgraded them even further. So these are a halogen headlight but they're the newest uh, bulb. It looks like a sealed beam but it has the H4 newest halogen bulb so it's much brighter, much safer in terms of driving and for visibility. So we've, we've upgraded those along with all the bulbs. Um, when you convert from a 6 volt to 12 volt, most people um, will, I would call it cheating, in terms of the wiper system. What they will do is they will buy a box. Um, it's an aftermarket uh, kit that screws on to underneath the dashboard and it has a dial on it and you wire it in and what it does is it, it converts the power originally from 6 volt to 12 by rotating this dial. Um, I don't care for that particular kit. What we've done um, is a much cleaner look and it looks stock in terms of the dash which I'll share you in a couple minutes. Um, you use the normal knob in the front to turn your wipers on and off um, but what we've done is we've replaced the armature so there's a motor inside the armature and we've taken that 6 volt armature out and we put a 12 volt in. So you have normal wiper operation, you have normal lights and a stronger alternator as opposed to generator. So underneath the front hood you'll see it's finished off quite nicely. Um, we have the, um, the spare tire here. We've got a nice cardboard filler which is authentic. You'll see to top up your gas it's right here with this red lid and then we've cleaned up uh, in behind the dash. You'll notice we have this aftermarket panel uh, just kind of cleans the look up so you don't see the back of the radio, the back of the glove box or the back of the speedometer and wiring and so on. You can see it's quite nice in terms of the overall cleanliness here. Um, when I put the hood down, um, we have the authentic Volkswagen uh, logo that belongs in 64 on the front hood. You'll notice the bumpers. Um, these are the upgraded triple plated chrome bumpers. Um, it has the authentic or correct what some people refer to as towel racks which is the traditional look for 1964. So we've maintained the stock look. Um, all of the trim is in nice shape and it's the uh, stainless steel wide trim. It has the uh, factory correct looking marker lights. You'll notice on the sides um, these would have been, um, normally they wouldn't have been a radial tire but we upgraded to a radial tire. Uh, they're the authentic size and we have the triple plated chrome hubcaps and we've painted the rims uh, the Volkswagen white. As we come down the side you can see we've added a little bit of uh, stainless accent here to the front fender. It does serve a purpose. It actually reduces the number of stone chips that comes up from the front tire. Um, this is a, a known area for, for chipping. Also as you come down the side we've replaced the running board and then you'll see we've also done this which once again serves a purpose. And We've gone with the stainless steel um, rear uh, fender guards uh, which are higher up and they once again uh, reduce the number of stone chips that, that uh, happen along the side. You'll notice in terms of the trim we've added a little bit of uh, chrome look accent here. Um, this being the deluxe Volkswagen Beetle in 64. Um, you've got the, uh, the two post antenna, radio antenna. You have the mirror that's attached to the hinged post. Uh, we've added stainless steel covers for the hinged posts. Uh, we've got uh, nice handles with a little bit of, uh, of accent in behind which helps resist scratching uh, with rings. Um, for having this, um, this piece in behind. When you open the door up we have new weather strips along here. You can see part of the deluxe package is the two colored door panel. Um, inside everything is very authentic looking. Oh sorry. Um, everything is authentic looking in terms of the dashboard. Um, we've got uh, the authentic steering wheel, horn button assembly, you'll see the fuel gauge which was new for 64. Um, it has the nice rubber uh, matting on the inside 
and uh, you'll see the buttons and gauges are all factory correct looking. So um, we've upgraded the, uh, the seat belts, a little bit nicer, cleaner looking seat belt. Uh, the padding and the upholstery is all new. So what we've done is we've, uh, we have new burlap, new foam, and the authentic covers with the correct piping and colors. Um, and uh, these are the correct low beam, or sorry, um, uh, low back uh, bucket seats. Um, you'll notice the accents here uh, showing it's a deluxe. It has the chrome insert in the side windows. It also has the chrome insert in the back window. And when we come around the front, you'll see um, it also has the chrome accent around the front windshield. As we come around the back of the vehicle, it has the correct tail lights. Once again, upgraded to the 12 volt bulb instead of 6 volt bulb. Also, the bulb here, obviously, for your license plate. It has the correct engine lid. And then as we look inside here, we've upgraded this engine. So the engine has been uh, rebuilt and uh, the heads and valves have been done. Uh, we've upgraded a couple of things. You'll notice we've got a little bit of chrome here now and a little bit of chrome here. Um, a couple of upgrades. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we changed the generator to an alternator. And when we put the new alternator on, um, we went with a chrome accent kit, so it has a little bit of chrome here at the base and the chrome pulley on the front. To increase a little bit of power, we've put a balanced pulley on the bottom. It's a three and a half pound pulley, which gives the engine a little more of a performance type feel to it. We have the authentic looking uh, pea shooter type tailpipes. Um, we've upgraded this distributor, so the traditional distributor in this car would have points and uh, you always need to maintain those points and test them and check them and replace them. Um, this is a flamethrower upgraded distributor assembly and what this does is now electronic. It eliminates the points so now it's electronically controlled and we have a higher intensity coil which gives this more power and a little bit cleaner burn and more spark. So it's a little bit more efficient uh, running of an engine. It looks a little bit cleaner and we've got a new fuel pump also and you'll see a little bit of detail but very authentic looking or period correct look to it other than a little bit of the chrome. Um, once again on the back bumpers they're the triple plated chrome bumper. Once again the authentic looking uh, towel rack style. Uh, for the rear we've added an aftermarket um, set of Volkswagen authentic mud flaps. It just gives a little bit different look. There's two different styles of mud flaps you can get. You can get the black flap with the white Volkswagen logo. We chose to go with the white with the black crest to match the white wheels. As you come down the side, you'll see the chrome, the body, everything is in very nice condition. Um, the, the shine and the, and the paint finish is quite nice. And once again, you can see in terms of the interior, we've added that little bamboo shelf. It's an aftermarket uh, feature underneath the dash. Uh, so it just gives you a little bit of a, of a storage area there. And, uh, but overall, very clean car, very respectable driver. Um, and this car, as I mentioned earlier, is available for sale. So you can reach me. Uh, my email address is john at lastchanceautorestore.com or visit our website, lastchanceautorestore.com. Thanks for watching.